but because they are doing a phenomenal job. Thank you very much. I will take a few questions. Um, my name is Chemutai going from Citizen TV, and um, I have one question. Uh, there's been concern by sugarcane farmers uh, in parts of uh, Western and Nyanza. Some factories have closed shop, and Kenyans are actually concerned about the price of sugar because um, when you look at the period when you took over power, sugar was about 300 shillings, and now 2 kgs is retailing for about 510. So the concern is what is pushing the price of sugar up and what interventions the Ministry of Agriculture and the administration is using uh, to cushion the farmers. Thank you. Thank you very much. I agree with you that there is concern around uh, sugar. Some of the, uh, we've had confusion and chaos actually in the whole sugar subsector. And we are streamlining uh, uh, that sector because the whole sugarcane sector has been riddled with all manner of confusion and uh, um, poaching of sugarcane from one corner to another. The others, uh, everybody refusing to work in accordance with the law. In fact, the reason why many companies have, sh have closed a shop uh, temporarily is because there is no cane to harvest. And uh, uh, they were even harvesting cane that is not mature. We have had serious consultations. The minister, AFA, has been on top of that game. Uh, it is true the prices have gone up. We have been reluctant to work against farmers by opening Importation. Importation has always been a problem in Kenya, that sometimes importation has been used to destroy the whole sugar industry. We have been careful, we have been uh, methodical, but finally we have uh, given licenses for the importation of uh, sugar into the country. Initially, we started with Comesa sugar that was not Finally, it was not available. We have, as required by uh, the signatories that we, we, are, we are signatories to, we cannot open sugar to other markets before we start with the Comesa sugar. Now that we have ascertained that there isn't sufficient supply in the Comesa uh, area, we've now opened globally. And I want to announce that I think in the next one or two weeks, uh, at least by mid of this month, we will see a different uh, situation pertaining because that's the time we expect stocks of, um, of sugar to come into the country. But additionally, I did undertake during the campaign to sort out the whole sugar subsector. We've been in consultations with the um, stakeholders uh, the minister here has had a meeting with all the governors from the sugar growing areas. He has had a meeting with all the members of parliament. I have personally had maybe six, seven meetings with my economic team, with the various stakeholders. And finally, we now have a roadmap that will be discussed in cabinet next week. And uh, I want to promise the country that we now have a comprehensive plan to sort out our sugar subsector and make sure that that area is properly aligned to serve the interest of farmers first and to serve the interest of the country, consumers, and everybody else. Thank you very much. My name is Jeff Kirui from KTN News, and my question is regarding the subsidized fertilizer is a welcome move in terms of increasing production. However, there is another key component, which is the cost of fuel. And uh, what is the government doing about that since the cost of fuel, specifically diesel, has been rising steadily? Thank you very much. As you are aware, our intervention in that space is what I said earlier, that um, we cannot go into subsidizing consumption. 
and the interventions we are making in making sure that we have a farmer community that is motivated to produce food. And you can see from the numbers that by reducing the cost of uh, fertilizer, we have an additional 200,000 acres of uh, farmland that has been brought into production. We have the uptake that is phenomenal. I just told you that in one day, we sold 34,000 bags of fertilizer, the highest this, this season. It tells you that the interventions we are making, the farmers are responding. We cannot obviously intervene in everything, but we intervene in the areas that we believe will give us the highest return on our intervention, and an intervention that is targeted. There is no way, for example, you can target fuel for agricultural production. It becomes a very difficult exercise to target. We can easily target fertilizer because you cannot use fertilizer to do anything else. It's only to plant. You know, that's, that's why it's easy. And you know, the reason why we have taken this approach is that we want policy interventions that cannot be abused, that cannot be subjected to corruption, that cannot be diverted. And that is why we are intervening in the manner in which we are. Your Excellency, my name is Mwangi Maina from Inoro TV. My first question is, you have rightfully said that one of the challenges we face as a country is the inadequacy of land and population. But in some of the most productive counties, we have seen a craze of land subdivision. What is your government doing to ensure that we do not lose all the arable land that we are having? Secondly, concerning the coffee sector, right why now... Don't you, why don't I answer you that one? Quickly. Okay, it's okay, sir. Affordable housing. I mean, the reason why we have affordable housing, and you've asked a very important question, the reason why we are working on affordable housing is because we want to reverse the land fragmentation for settlement that is going on in Kenya, denying us the opportunity to use that land for agricultural and food production. Instead, it is being subdivided for settlement. Affordable housing will help us reverse that trend, consolidate land for agricultural productivity and use the land we have for settlement by making sure that affordable housing consolidates land that is settled for housing so that we can free up land that currently is being abused by, through subdivision and we can then make that land af af available for agricultural productivity. Finally, you can Mr. go to President, coffee. On coffee sector, currently we are not having coffee that is being sold in the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, and you know the government is having plans to revitalize the coffee sector. What is happening currently? We've had challenges in the coffee sector. We also, uh, I, I made a commitment during the campaign that we are going to sort out this sector. We have people in that space who are chronic. And because we have to sort out that space, we've had to make some difficult decisions. Including this morning, we were having a conversation about coffee. What I want to promise the coffee farmers is that we are going to sort out this area. Imagine last year, we even made fertilizer available at 3,500 for coffee farmers. But the cartel in the coffee sector could not even allow the farmers to pick the coffee of 3,500. They were still selling fertilizer of 5,000 to farmers by force. Can you imagine that? So we are on top of it. I want to promise the coffee farmers, I know coffee farmers are not making money the way they should. Current going prices of beans is maybe 50, 60, 70 shillings. We made a commitment that we are going to have a floor price of between 100 and 120 
uh, shillings per kilo going upwards, progressing towards 150. That is where we are going to take this. There has been a challenge of uh, the auction. We have agreed tentatively that there will be an auction uh, next week to make sure that uh, the whole process does not stall. But finally, we will sort out matters around the sale of coffee. Farmers are getting a raw deal in the whole of that exercise. And uh, two or three people have taken that whole sector hostage. And uh, I want to promise our farmers that the government of Kenya is going to sort it out. Um, Your Excellency, my name is Grace Korea Kanja from TV47. Two questions, I'll go with the first. What plans does the government have to harvest water now that, like you said, we have an early warning from the weatherman? And uh, shillings per kilo going upwards, progressing towards 150. That is where we are going to take this. There has been a challenge of uh, the auction. We have agreed tentatively that there will be an auction uh, next week to make sure that uh, the whole process does not stall. But finally, we will sort out matters around the sale of coffee. Farmers are getting a raw deal in the whole of that exercise. And uh, two or three people have taken that whole sector hostage. And uh, I want to promise our farmers that the government of Kenya is going to sort it out. Um, Your Excellency, my name is Grace Korea Kanja from TV47. Two questions, I'll go with the first. What plans does the government have to harvest water now that, like you said, we have an early warning from the weatherman? And your second question? My second question, Your Excellency, is um, ahead of the anticipated talks between uh, Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimir. Please, let's not go there. Let's not go there. So uh, <laughs> let's stick with the first question. Um, we, are, we have a whole program. As you have seen, we have uh, already advertised the first 33 mega dams. The analysis is going on at the moment of the various uh, tender documents as part of our big plan on water harvesting. Our stretch is to do 100 megadams, to do close to 1,000 microdams, and close to 3,800 water pans around the country. That is a program, a program that uh, Alice Wahome, CS Alice Wahome and her team are working on. They will be sending a brief to cabinet in the next one week, and we are well on course on harvesting water because it is a major component that is going to drive our farming through irrigation, is going to drive our health through making sure that there is uh, clean water for drinking, is also going to drive our, life, our livestock industry by making sure that we have water for livestock. So it's a very important sector. It is one of our big focus, our big uh, tickets, and we are working on it. Your Thank you very much, my, my, my name is good Get people. My name is Gitao Wanjiko, and my question touches on Pelis or Shamba system. I would like to know how does it contribute to the food security? And uh, on the other hand, we have felt, and some people feel that uh, the Shamba system uh, contribute into environmental de degradation. And uh, your government is so serious in uh, terms of uh, conserving the environment. How are you going to intermarry the, the two so that uh, maybe we can exploit the Pele system and uh, as well as we contribute or we conserve the environment? Our focus at the moment is on 15, growing 15 billion trees in Kenya. We have a comprehensive plan on how that is going to achieve, uh, on how that is going to be achieved. And we will be making a, a, a statement, a comprehensive statement, on all the challenges we are having and what needs to be done to make sure that uh, we, we, we respond appropriately in that space. I know there has been concern, for example, on the lifting of the moratorium on uh, tree harvesting. 
I want for avoidance of doubt that that will not be an occasion to reverse our tree planting exercise. What we are doing, we are going to make sure that that exercise does not lead to what we have seen in the past. And it is the reason why this year we have hired an extra 1,500 forest officers, including wardens, to make sure that we take full charge of the exercise around our forests and to make sure that if we are harvesting uh, trees because they are mature and they are commercial plantations, it is just that, coordinated properly because there is value in us using some of the resources, especially in the commercial uh, plantations, to drive our 15 billion tree growing plan. The resources that we need in that space is going to be plowed back. In fact, there is no single coin that is going to come from commercial forestry and the harvest of commercial trees that's going to go outside, making sure that we drive our plan on 15 billion trees. But again, we are going to issue a comprehensive statement in that direction. Have a good afternoon, good people. Asante Nisana, God bless you, and please pray for our farmers. They are doing a wonderful job. Asante.